Hello again. Um, may I know how many of you have used Dynamo? About 10 people? S this is out of my expectation, right? <laughs> Not you, but I think it should be more, I think, because Dynamo is really amazing tools that for BIM. Okay, be because I have to do this topic for use, and I will introduce uh, some workflow and some of my experience of using Dynamo. And I hope you can uh, join my team for using Dynamo. Okay, um, <coughs> just mentioned it before that Dynamo has um, the Dynamo for Refit and Dynamo Studios, which is, um, they also have the same function as Dynamo, but, but they are in two different formats. The left hand side, Dynamo is a plug in in Refit, and Dynamo Studio is the standalone program which can be connected to cloud. And actually, Dynamo is um, a visual programming tool or platform. Let me make an example. For traditional programming, like uh, C Sharp, it's just like this kind of text. text. And imagine you have to make this paper this bird, and then I tell you there are two methods, two instructions to make this. What would you choose to follow? The answer is obvious, right? I think most of you would choose this one. And myself, I would choose this one, of course. Because uh, there are 13 st steps. If you use uh, the wording to present your um, the workflow, it, it is okay, but I think this is more uh, presentable and you can understand very quickly and easily. So it is better for communication. And this is the vision programming to the platform. And this is the, a part of the script of Dynamo. With the help of some uh, block, we call this block, just like a uh, puzzle, they form with the while connection, they form together and they make a script that can be used in Refit. And with many of this script, they can form a lot of um, works and a lot of complicated um, features like this. And I think that um, Dynamo will be a future language for uh, design communication. Imagine that. I, th I think most of you, most of you here, have the experience of using Revit. And you are, when you are working with your team members, I know that different beamers they would have different uh, skills and methods to create the same thing. But I tell you that. It would be annoying and trouble for a BIM manager to manage all their skill, all their workflow. But with the Dynamo, the script, they standardize all the work format. You can monitor, you can check whether they are following, following the instruction. So um, Dynamo will be um, one of the communication tools and it, is, it can generate a quick result for communication. And actually, um, <coughs> for now, for um, what I've observed in Hong Kong and the world markets, Dynamo always used it by architects uh, in the present time. They use it to build some amazing um, buildings and use it to control the curtain panels, etc. And actually, Dynamo can do more in different stages of a building project. It can use it to control uh, some functions inside Refit. For example, the wheel, the schedules can be controlled and managed by Dynamo efficiently because Dynamo can um, import and export the Excel data with Refit. Also, I've introduced 
the project fractal, which is the generative design, can be connected with um, Dymo Studios. So uh, it could be used in construction stage as well. And for the operation, it could use uh, the existing uh, Rivet model with some Dynamo script to study um, the space planning, etc. So it would maximize the existing Rivet model of your project, maximize the value of it. This diagram shows a big picture of Dynamo and other software applications. In the middle, the blue rectangular box, it is Dynamo, but in two different formats. One is Dynamo for Revit, the part in, and one, the other one is the Dynamo Studio, which is a standalone program, which can be, uh, <coughs> it can be use cow functions to connect with Formit 360 and for uh, Fusion 360 and our project factual. And actually, Dynamo is not unknown. It has different scripts, and this one, the, those scripts can be, pack, uh, <coughs> can be packaged in a Dynamo package, which is, um, it is a name, Dynamo package. Could be worked with different kind of software, like Lavis Works, React Structure, Flux, Rhino, SketchUp, etc. And all of these packages are free. And actually, last night I checked our package manager website. There are about more than 400,000 people installed Dynamo or Dino Dynamo. And then we have 985 packages free for Dino. And these packages are created by 300 offers, actually the Dynamo users. And I, for myself, I'm one of them. And this is the gallery of Dynamo. All these works are created by Dynamo itself with uh, Rivet. So um, this gallery, it indicates different disciplines can use Dynamo, such as uh, architectural. You can see some amazing <coughs> uh, architectural shapes here. And actually, I have uh, seen a case in China, Quanto Railways. They use Dynamo to create a tunnel for a railways. And actually, uh, if you have experience in Rivet, it is a really difficult word uh, to, to, to do a tunnel in Rivet. If you can do it, you, use, you may use massing, but it will be very complicated and difficult to do so. And also, there is, um, have you tried to use Rivet to create opening for MEP discipline? Uh, I know that there are some plug-in, some solution already available on a Rivet exchange store, but I will tell you, you can save that money. Because from now, you can use Dynamo to do this. You can create some openings with Dynamo. Just use your own script, and then you can use it, this script, repeat again and again, and share with your team. And in August last year, our Autodesk staff has invented a workflow for infrastructure for um, some bridge, some tunnel case. This uh, workflow is posted on YouTube and, <coughs> sorry, and he's brought with it beyond BIM. This workflow is written by our staff named Dieter Wurmland. He is a structural engineer and then he used some civil uh, files which is created by InfoWorks in conceptual stage, and then export the Excel files, to co those coordinates to Rifid, and then use Rifid and Dynamo to generate the tunnels in Rifid. So the geometry uh, created by Rifid originally, 
and which can be added and shared with other disciplines, our team, and to continue the detailed works. And you may think that Dynamo can do many things, but also it is very complicated because it is a program. How do I start to learn it? Actually, I have asked myself this question in 2015. It is really difficult for me because I'm not a programming person, but a difficulty, a challenge came to me at that time. I was preparing a conference for Singapore called RTC in 2015 September. And this is not a postcard. This is my work in Revit, past Dynamo and other software, of course. This is the super trees, which is located in the gardens by the bay in Singapore. And this is the work I created from Revit. So, um, my challenge, I'm going to show you, is to create this super trees. Super trees Chinese is King Tian Shu. King Tian Shu. It has, um, this is the tallest, is it the tallest one? No. Uh, actually, the height, um, you can imagine, there's little, little one, is the people. And this is the height of the tree. So you can think, you can imagine how large of this uh, uh, structure. And it has uh, 18 super trees in total and have five dis different sizes. And with limited times, I have to create um, all the trees with different size. So how do I complete this task? I think that because time is running out, so I only create the smallest one, the 25 meter super trees. And then I study the structure of the super tree. It has um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six major components. I use adaptive families to create it. And then form it, form it together like this one in Rifford. And then <coughs> I created one complete version of SuperTree. I use Dynamo. I try, this is my first time to try Dynamo, is to scale up the SuperTrees. I can tell you, I only use one, two, three, four, five, five blocks to create a script, a very simple script to scale up all the things. So how, uh, uh, you may ask me how much time I've spent on making this script. One minute. I use one minute to all, do all these things. But of course, not counting the studying time I've used for um, learning Dynamo, but it is not so difficult because all this uh, block, they are already default uh, under the Dynamo library. So I just pick it and then link it together and form a script. And then I got my thing done like this. Is it perfect? <laughs> and then um, actually, I think this is good. So the scale with the elements, I called the script. I've uploaded to the uh, package library so all of us can download the script and use it. Um, I've mentioned this time, uh, this morning. In fact, Dynamo can be used on the cloud. It has a platform called Dynamo Rich. Dynamo Rich. So you just use your script and your outcome, upload to the web, and upload to this platform. Actually, there are four, there are five examples here for you to play with to try on the Dynamo Rich website. This is the script in uh, Dynamo. And then when you share with others, share the link with others, uh, or the other one will have this link and open the script like this. They have the 
proportion, rotation, number segments, they are the parameters you set in the demo script. They just saw the result by stretching all the slides and see the difference of the work. And if you want to learn more and download the th uh, Dynamo, you can go to this website. This is the official website, dynamobim.org. There has um, our free version of Dynamo Stu Studio, which is free, uh, 30 days trial, and then forum. And we have a official learning material called uh, Dynamo Primer. It has about 600 pages from easy, from beginner to uh, advanced level uh, course materials. And also, uh, as you know, that there are many, so many blocks, you don't know what they are functioning. And recently, we have announced the dictionary, Dynamo dictionary here. So you can find how to use Dynamo. And there are also many YouTube videos from the worldwide Dynamo users. And Autodesk will have some Dynamo, Dynamo workshop uh, in coming months, and we will release this news on AIAB website and Facebook. So uh, this is all for my sharing. Thank you very much.